Sad and disturbing day at a construction site in the Keys. Three men were killed. Two firefighters trying to help them were hurt. CBS 4's Peter Dench spent the day on the scene and sent this report in just a short time ago. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office and OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, will be investigating this deadly accident here in Key Largo inside this manhole as a co-worker of the three victims who lost their lives here is speaking out. Nighttime on Long Key Road near mile marker 106. It's where authorities say three men died while checking out a backup in this 15-foot deep drainage manhole. They were overcome by methane and hydrogen sulfide gas. I don't believe it. I just, I still, I can't believe it at all. That's my, our family. It's these family. Tasha Okiuzi was close to her co-workers of the Douglas and Higgins Company who died here, including 24-year-old Robert Wilson and 49-year-old Louis O'Keefe from Monroe County. Lou yeah. was the awesomest man you'd ever meet in the world, take his shirt off his back to help you. He would do anything. Very caring, loving guy. And 34-year-old Elway Gray was from Fort Lauderdale. A law enforcement source says the first worker was overcome by the gases and collapsed, as did the second worker who tried to rescue him, and then the third worker who tried to save them. One firefighter decided to take his air pack off and go inside to attempt a rescue. Once he went inside, he soon succumbed to the gases inside as well. A second firefighter was able to take an air pack into the manhole and rescue the firefighter who was revived by first responders. Generally, you want to vent the uh, tube out before you go in there and have proper breathing stuff. It appears to be there was no venting done prior, the best we can see at this point in time. That tears us apart. That tears the whole Higgins family apart. The Key Lago firefighter was airlifted to Jackson South Hospital where he is in an induced coma. Meanwhile, we did reach out to the Douglas and Higgins Company in Palm Beach Gardens for comment, but we have not heard back. In Key Largo, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News Tonight.